Guys, welcome back to another video. This is another Try Not To Laugh with more Family Guy dark humour reactions, pretty much. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do this reaction and another one again. So the last one I did both of them together, but I've got to do a lot of reactions, so I might just do them individually just to sort of, I don't know, just make it easy for myself. But who knows, maybe we'll do them both together, but we're just going to get into this, man. You seem to enjoy this Family Guy or cartoon Try Not To Laughs and... I enjoy them as well. It's just sometimes hard to find reactions for other series. Family Guy seems quite lax on like copyright or like blocking videos. But South Park is a bitch to sort of try and find reactions. Videos that I can react to and do try not to laugh to because it's just so strict. But if there's any other series that you want me to do this kind of stuff to, please suggest them in the comments because I do enjoy them. But yeah, let's just jump into this one. And everyone's just standing around doing nothing. Like the whole world during the Holocaust. Too true. Never again. Okay, now we've earned this gag about an anti-Semitic pigeon. Ugh, <laughs> my allergies. And everything else. Just terrible. Choo, choo. All right, let's go. <laughs> Already, man. <laughs> the damn pigeon. What we leave for a tip? The food and service were both great. Give him the full 3%. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Choo, cheep, cheep. <laughs> this is why I hate going outside. <laughs> that was hilarious. And again, the global community's inaction during the Holocaust was unforgivable. <laughs> Fuck me. Man, this toothpick is the best. I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman on his futility belt. I can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, something that might be a Rolaid. I don't know, it's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer! I have some stamps. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's a cert. Peter wow, that was awkward. <laughs> For like a stranger sake. trying to make conversation. Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode. No sauce for you, <laughs> right? We missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard <laughs> Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I love how it's just sort of out of out of just nowhere it just comes. <laughs> Oh, Family Guy is goaded, man. I swear to God. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> Hello? Dad, Grandpa burned us with a curling iron, so we're at Farrell's ice cream. Would you come get us? I can't understand you. Stop calling me. Stupid foreigners. This group needs quagmire. Just like an Asian man <laughs> needs facial hair to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Different and creative. Really? What about being a pilot? Eh, it's just not a challenge anymore. These days, the autopilot does everything. Can I get you anything, Captain? You can get me some of this, toots. <gasps> okay, I guess I'll just sit here and read a fucking magazine. Oh, drugging the baby? Oh, God, that's a worse idea than letting Bono pick out his own glasses. No, no, no. I need something way more ridiculous. Something that a cartoon villain would wear. Well, I do have some horn rims. Look, you're not hearing me. I need my glasses to look like something either not yet invented or from an ancient Egyptian tomb. And if possible, they should look as though they cost a million dollars, but also came free in a box of cereal. Perhaps I can be of help, Mr. Bono. You have somewhat of a square face, so to offset that, I recommend these frames, made for an intergalactic homosexual. Perfect. Ah, <laughs> oh, like Christopher Columbus. What yeah, am I looking at? Flip it out, is that Hasbilla? I know this has been a long voyage. Half of us have died of starvation. We all saw Billy rot out from the stomach. We saw Roger's face get eaten by a seagull. And who could forget, when Dave's bum sealed shut, until he filled with poo and died. But it's all gonna be worth it. Trust me. Cause the spices here are amazing. Our mattress still has the chalk outline from where my uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. She poured boiling grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? Yeah, I flipped it over. Don't be so hard on yourself, Peter. Your life's not over yet. 
come on. It's not like I can go back to school at my age. I'll never be a doctor. The best I could hope for is a male nurse who's probably killing all his patients. Well, I'm going home. Griffin, you have another eight hours on your shift. Now, what about your patients? They all died with dignity, God bless them. <laughs> but first, sad news from the Quahog Zoo as a baby panda on loan from <coughs> China is undergoing emergency treatment for what appears to be tater tot poisoning. The Chinese ambassador was quoted as saying, Ooh, Fu tiger Hulk? mom, egg Fu young, practice your piano math. I don't know, probably not that. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> this is reload that little Emergency bit. treatment for what appears to be tater tot poisoning. The Chinese ambassador was quoted as saying, Ooh, tiger mom, egg foo young, practice your piano math. I don't know, probably not that. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> what have I just fucking heard? Oh, I've got to do another one, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What have I just seen? Oh man, this is mental. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna get killed by a cat. They'll never let me live this down in doggy heaven. <laughs> hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids. Woo! Biting kids? <laughs> yeah, unedible. I miss biting kids. <laughs> the elevator's taking forever. I I'm just gonna use the stairs. There were two homeless people eating each other in there. Hey, I'd what? like to ride your ass into Jerusalem. Wow, <laughs> there's something in it this year. Settle down, Meg. It's the upstairs bathroom trash. There's only one rule here at this <laughs> Blossom Plantation, Stewie. Courtesy. Well, I got a confession to make, Daddy Johnson. I got a hankering for some mischief. Well, now that's in direct conflict with the rule. My rule is honesty. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. But it don't mean I doesn't love you, Daddy Johnson. Oh, Stewie, you done gone and buried your way into my heart like a field mouse. But I still gots to discipline you. Should I strip to my ankles, Daddy Johnson? I was just gonna give you a talking to, but yeah, just shoes and socks, Stewie. I like the South. We got different ways than they do up north, but it seems to work for everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? Wow. A lot of people OD at these things. Oh, uh, yeah. This episode of Family Guy is brought to you by Macmillan Mass Grave Excavation Equipment. When you think mass graves, think Macmillan. <laughs> oh <my laughs> <God>. <laughs> 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 it's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Re oh, this one is min This one is fucking... Like, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this on TV, man. It's grim, bro. This is actually vile, man. <laughs> this one is vile. Could you put him back in and out a few times? <laughs> how do you have, how sick do you have to be to from this scene, man? I was born oh, nine man. times that day. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm quite well. I'm gonna find that is. I'll just have four to five beers to stop the shaking, and then I'll go outside. You know what, Peter? Maybe we can give you a hand. Yeah, we'll help you look. I'm in. All right, guys, let's solve this mystery. And you kids at home can help us solve the mystery, too. Just go to FamilyGuyKids.com. Oh, it's just someone crapping in his hand. <laughs> All right, now you got to get in good with Heather's family. If her parents like you, she's going to want to sleep with you. Mr. Garbage, I appreciate that I'm a guest in your home, but Barack Obama is still my president, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna sit here and let you talk about him like that. Shut up, Heather! I am talking to your father! And you, Mrs. Garbage, I'll thank you to stop sticking your foot in my crotch! And Jimmy Jr., just tell him you're gay! It's so <laughs> obvious! Peter, is Chris still in bed? Oh, I hope he didn't take it too hard when you made him get rid of that doll. Oh, God. Good morning, everybody. Heather won't be having breakfast. She already had a big sausage. Oh, wait, so we do... <laughs> oh, Chris, man. Do have sausage? <laughs> because I asked for sausage, and I was given bananas and applesauce. <laughs> Why do we bring them to a shelter instead of an adoption agency? Oh, less paperwork. Yeah, this is for the best. I mean, I'm sure they'll be adopted. I know these is kind of unusual, <laughs> but we'll take whatever we can get. Wait. Wait, is this what I think it is? Have they just... 
This is this is a little Brian and a little Stewie as a dog. Oh. Wait, wait, am I thinking that they've just breeded Brian and Stewie to have dogs together or what? Because that's why they look all tired and stuff. <laughs> oh, that is dog as shit, man. I know this is kind of unusual, but we'll take whatever we can get. <laughs> just half human, half dog. Well, that's just like Cleveland, running off as soon as the bill arrives. Oh, he's paid off all your tabs. Well, that's just like Cleveland, always throwing money around. <laughs> we now return to sassy sitcom secretary in real life. Well, according to the research company, we need to find a way to make the product appeal more to men. Too bad there's no men working here. Uh, hey Janine, come back here. Don't ever talk to your boss that way. I was I was just trying to be funny. This is a marketing firm. We're not here to tell jokes. You're fired. <laughs> Last week, she wanted me to pretend she was the head of the company because her parents were in town. Who does that? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a supermodel and we're making out. Lucky dog. <laughs> Wait, what? Supermodel and we're making out. That. All right, there's no pudding, but there is a supermodel and we're making out. <laughs> Wait, what? Lucky dog. Wait a minute. There's a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. Your life could be worse. <laughs> you could be a black. A... Oh, flipping hell, man. <laughs> the look from Cleveland, man. Black. Go ahead. A blanket. <laughs> I got a stupid old blanket. What a lousy life this is. All right, you saved it. <laughs> oh man, family guy. What would we do about it, huh? What would we do about it? a bla a bla a blanket? <laughs> Don't hold him like that. <laughs> funny, bro. That caught me so off guard. I was born nine times that day. There's a kid up there. There's a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. There were two homeless people eating each other there. <laughs> I only think that scene with Jeffrey and Timothy is wholesome because they don't care how unusual the kids are. I'm confused though. Oh! I was confused! Wait, so it, it's dark because it implies it's difficult for gay couples to adopt children. So I was off with this one. I, I got a lot darker with it than I probably should have. I thought it was sort of implying that they they breeded them together. Like it was these two; they were like forced to breed them or something. Oh, a shelter instead of an adoption agency. Oh, less paperwork. Yeah, this is for the best. I mean, I'm sure they'll be adopted. I know these is. It is though, isn't it? Even though Brian's a male dog. Kind of unusual, but we. Bro, I'm confused with that one, man. <laughs> I came so left field with that. I was born nine times that day, well, is that... <laughs> yeah, that one was just rank, man, that incest one is just mental, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one, again, these triumph laughs are always fun to do, and I mean, if you have any more video videos I can do these with to other cartoons, please let me know, because I tried posting one with South Park a few weeks ago, and I couldn't, so I had to post it to my Patreon, but if I can post them to YouTube somehow, please suggest me a video that you see other YouTubers reacting to, because I would love to, but yeah, that's just hopefully for the future, but until next time, like, subscribe, and peace.